Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solutions for Bitbucket and as we know that is the best SAML SSO solution available in the market. So in this video, we are going to set up Bitbucket single sign-on with custom identity provider using SAML protocol. Let's get started with the setup. Go to your Miniorange single sign-on plugin. You can navigate the plugin by clicking on take a tour of the add-on. Now, let's proceed with the configuration. Click on add new IDP. You can select manual setup flow, which gives you access to all the various setup options that we provide to add a SAML identity provider. Here you will require some IDP details, like IDP name, IDP entity ID, the IDP single sign on URL, and the IDP signing certificate which will be used to validate a SAML response received from your identity provider. You will find these details in your IDP metadata file. To import the IDP metadata details using metadata URL, or by uploading the metadata file, you can go to Import from Metadata tab. To get the service provider information, click on SP Information button. You can configure SP, or Bitbucket's metadata in your identity provider. You can either use metadata URL, or metadata XML file, or by manually configuring using these URLs. You can go to View Setup Guide to get the step-by-step -step instructions. If you want to configure your IDP setup from the get-go, you can use Quick Setup Flow, which we will be covering in this video. So for the Quick Setup, let's go back to Common Settings. Click on Add New IDP. And select Quick Setup. Select Custom IDP. Now you are on the Service Provider Metadata page. You can configure Service Provider Metadata by either of the three ways, that is Metadata URL, or Metadata XML file, or by manually configuring the metadata on your IDP. Click here to view the setup guide of the plugin. Here you'll get step-by-step -step instructions. So let's configure Custom Identity Provider. Here we will take an example of Okta as our custom IDP. In the application section, we are creating Bitbucket SAML application. Click on Next. In Okta IDP, we can configure service provider metadata by manually configuring SP information. As mentioned earlier, you will find single sign-on URL and SP entity ID in the plugin. Copy the ACS URL from the plugin and paste it in the given field in the application. Copy the SP entity ID from the plugin and paste it in the given field in the application. Click on Next. Select the required options and click on Finish. You can assign the people or groups to the application in the Assignments tab. Now, let's set up Bitbucket as Service Provider. Go to Service Provider Metadata window in the plugin and click on Proceed. Enter the custom IDP name of your choice. IDP metadata can be imported in one of the three ways. Metadata URL, Metadata File, or Manual Setup. We will be going with Metadata URL for now. You will get the IDP metadata from your identity provider. In our case, we will get the IDP metadata details in the Okta Application Sign-On section. To set up the IDP metadata manually, click on View Setup Instruction. To set up the IDP metadata using URL, Click on Identity Provider Metadata link. Copy the URL of the page. Now paste that copied URL in the Metadata URL field. Click on Save. And you can see the SAML setting saved message. Now go down to the Test and Get Attributes URL. Copy the URL. Go to the Incognito window and in the Location bar paste the copied URL from the plugin and press Enter. Log in with your IDP credentials. You can see successful test configuration. Here you will find the name ID. You can scroll down to check SAML request and SAML response. Go back to the plugin and click on proceed. In the user profile section, you can map the user profile attributes. Click on save and proceed. From this drop down, configure the default group that will be used to grant application access to user. If no group is mapped, then users are added by default to the stash users group. And from this drop down, you can choose which user would be assigned the default groups. Click on view results. 
scroll down and click on finish quick setup your IDP is successfully configured now in the configured IDPs tab you will find all the configured IDPs here you can view test edit or delete your configuration here you can also enable or disable SSO for Bitbucket instance as your test configuration was successful now you will see the SSO button on the Bitbucket login page click on use IDP login button and you will be redirected to your custom IDP for SAML authentication now enter your IDP credentials you will be successfully logged into your Bitbucket dashboard using your custom IDP credentials go to the user profile to check the user data and you can find the user's email ID here Manyrange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.